Hello, welcome on in. How's everybody doing today? I am happy to be here. Um, how do we feel about Dream Snaps this week? <laughs> oh my goodness, I haven't even opened the game yet and I'm already like, tell me everything. What's the tea? What are we feeling? How's it going? I also feel like, did I change my mic volume? Do I sound quiet to anybody? Hmm, do I bump it up? Do I risk blowing all of your ears out? I'm going to turn it up a little, a little teensy tiny. Hello, Sunset Tea. Hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that game sound came in and... I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Usually the music's not playing when I first open the game. Um, hi, Nina. Hi, Lauren. Why am I here? I'm going to go to the main valley. We're going to clean up a little bit as everybody trickles on in. Uh, you're excited to see what I do for this week's stream snaps? I'm interested to see what I do for this week's stream snaps. I don't know what it's going to be like, but you know what? We're going to find out together. Hi, Mariah. Hi, Christian. Hi, Jenny. Hello, Allie. Angela, hi. Sophie, Lucy, Desiree. Dream Snaps is awful this week. It's ridiculous. Um, I feel like we'll we'll look at it. We'll look at it. We'll chat. I'm mostly kind of like how exactly are we going to pull this one off? I don't know. Um ideas? I have none. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. I have a little bit of an idea. But um, I don't have anything super specific. Also, let me just say, I flippity flopped on Dream Snaps. Um, which one did we just get the results for? The fur, feathers, and scales, or whatever it was called. Listen, chow. I did not do very well. You're lurking while you work? Amazing! Gotta love tax season. Oh my goodness. Listen, I haven't filed my taxes yet. I need to get on that. We don't have much time. Oof, I need to do that this weekend. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Not your favorite theme? Yeah, I, um, yeah, it's an interesting one. I mean, I feel like points for originality. Points for originality, maybe a few minus points for... Um... I'm trying to think of the word. I can't think of it. How many moonstones did I get today? I only pulled 600 moonstones for the results that we got today. Not my best work. Hi, Ashley. Hello, hello. Desiree, you got 4,000 moonstones for the first time. Congratulations. That's amazing. And Lucy, congrats on your best ever rank. That's fabulous. Uh, you got rank 149, Chloe. Amazing. Yana, hello, hello. Okay, um, do I want to get rid of these night thorns? I want to figure out, I think, where I want to set up our dream snap before I start getting rid of night thorns. Because again, I'm still working on the star path. So I want to leave some of the night thorns around in case I have a, a task that we have to do. Oh, also, um, the premium shop. We have so much stuff to look at. Um, minus points for using an impossible shirt in the picture on this one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, I mean, it's a slightly better thing than using, like, very apparently touch of magic items, I suppose. So the Dream Snap theme that we have today, we have Chill Summer. It's an outfit challenge that says escape winter's chill with a cool summery outfit. Combine summer and winter clothes to create your unique look. Let me write down these tags. Um, we need new note. Dream snaps. Okay, we need elegant, wondrous, and hats. Well, I'm just going to write down casual. And then I'm going to write down hats. I think it's really interesting when they put hats as a bonus tag because you can only wear one hat but mm, is what it is is what it is ashley it's your first time watching live welcome in happy you're able to be here uh hi sunset hello hello lauren you got 1200 moonstones this week snaps and claps that's solid um and then the premium shop we have lady tremaine's manor house i haven't looked at this 
We have the Monsters Inc. restaurant set, which I also haven't looked at, but this was in the trailer, wasn't it? I feel like I've seen this in action. It must have been in the trailer. And we have this wicker sweetheart basket, which I have looked at. But let me just say it's very cute. But I also have questions because um, that's also why I'm blonde today, because <laughs> I feel like with this shade of blonde, the pink at the bottom of the hair a little bit matches the cardigan and also the blonde kind of matches the the basket um my question is why does it look like this basket weighs approximately 35 pounds it's like <laughs> why does it look like i'm struggling so much to carry this maybe we just really packed it in it's a heavy picnic set but we look like we are struggling to carry this. This week's theme is so weird. You have no idea what you're going to do. I Yeah, I feel like it's going to be one of those things again where I'm probably going to focus on my background first. It's not as bad when we're running, but when we're walking, what is this? Um, and then we'll figure out an outfit afterwards. Uh, the Lady Tea House in the shop looks so good. And Ancient's Landing with the vines and trees. Wait, really? I might have to look at it over there. Oh, I was trying to get rid of that with my tool wheel, not realizing that no tool is the basket. You wish the basket was decor and not an accessory? I wish it was both. And I also wish that we could take pictures holding accessories. That would be my dream scenario. Hi, Savannah. Hello, hello. Okay, okay. Let me grab this house out to look at it. I don't think I've ever looked at anything for the first time on Eternity Isle. Usually, the valley is where I take a peek. It's giving bog bag a little bit in terms of proportions. I don't think I know what that is. Too many baguettes and not enough croissants. <laughs> Not the lopsided walking. I noticed that today. I thought it was so funny. Oh, okay. This is, is this smaller than I thought it would be? I don't know. Hi, Michelle. Hello, hello. You wish the accessories were more useful. Fingers crossed in the future. Yes. We need to be able to take pictures with them. That's what I feel. This is really cute. It's kind of quaint and small. Oh, you know what this really makes me want to watch? This really makes me want to watch Ever After. Um, I like it. What's the verdict? What does everyone think? Are we fans? It's kind of plain, but I don't mean that in a bad way. I think that's kind of nice. Because yesterday, I think, we were talking about how there are some buildings that are either so colorful. Sorry, my throat is a little a little sore. I might sound a little funny today. Um, there are some buildings that are either so colorful or so detailed that it can be hard to decorate around them. Because if you put too much, it just looks very, very busy. This one's very understated. So I think it's going to be really fun to decorate. Because you're going to have a little bit more freedom to add a bunch of stuff and not feel like it's very overwhelming. I love how distressed it looks also. It legit looks like it's old and crumbling. Hi, Minx. Hello, hello. Uh, perfect timing. You're about to deep clean your kitchen. Oh, amazing. Thanks for lurking. Hi, Kitty. Hello, hello. Did I do well on my dream snap? Um, not particularly, but we're still vibing. We're going to work on this week's and it's going to be fun. I do want to look at this in the valley, though, actually, because I think it, I'm hmm. The coloring makes me think that it might be nice with like Shea Remy, but the style makes me feel like it won't be. I don't know. I don't know. With some greenery, it can be brought to life beautifully. I agree. Seems disproportionately expensive when you compare with the pink castle. You know what? I feel like I don't understand exactly how they determine which houses are which price because they really have 
two or three prices for houses. It's like the 3750 or the 3000 and I think we might have had one or two houses that were in between there. But I haven't really found a rhyme or reason as to why certain houses cost certain amounts of money. I <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to jinx it. Sorry. My game is really making me nervous right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, this is going to have to go up in the forest, I fear. It's not a bad thing. I just was kind of hoping it would look cute with these. It does not. Who is Lady Tremaine? That is Cinderella's uh, stepmother. Hi, Joey. Hello. You love the new house. It's small, but you feel like we've been getting huge houses recently, so it's nice. Agreed. I wonder if I can put it by the tower. Maybe. Actually, quite maybe. They're very, uh, kind of different, but if I add a bunch of trees, I don't think it would be that bad. I'm going to put this here for now. Ooh, anytime I place a house, the game gets really mad. Let me exit out and save quickly. Saya, hello, how are you? You like the house, but you don't know where to place it. Oh, I feel like it would also look really good in the glade, maybe. Hmm, actually. Let me I'm not going to actually put it down there because it really is making me nervous the way my game is being. But we're going to at least bring it over here and see. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like the colors of this castle, it would look really good in the glade. The greenery is a little bit bright and vibrant for the glade, but I know a lot of people decorate with the lighter green bushes and trees in the glade anyway. Or even if you just put a little bit around this house, I think it would look really good here. It's something about the roof color, I think. And actually also just the color of the walls. They're a little bit muted. Everything feels kind of subdued and a little bit desaturated, which I think looks really good in the glade. Okay, cancel. You got the Haunted Mansion bundle last week for the same amount as the uh, Lady Tea House. Yeah, that was a really huge outlier. We haven't had anything else like that before. Okay, and then we need to look at those Monsters, Inc. things. Hi, Samantha. Hello, hello. How are you? You have no idea what to do for this dream snap theme. Um, I'm feeling what am I feeling and what am I looking for? Oh, uh, the thing I'm feeling. Uh, Taylor Swift featuring more Lana Del Rey snow on the beach vibes. Wait, this came with that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad about it. I don't I don't mind this table. It's just it just feels almost exactly like tables that we already have. So I think that's kind of funny. Do we have a table that's actually like this? Do I have a table that's actually like this? Probably not exactly. It just feels very, very similar to a lot of the ones that we have. But it is different. Wait, we have this small table. I know we have this small table in a different color. Don't we? I mean, the legs are thicker, but it doesn't matter. Literally does not matter. Just gave me a bit of a chuckle. Hi, Kim. Hello. How are you? You just started trying to move houses around more this week and it will kick you off almost every time you get going. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, my game has been acting up quite a bit recently, so... Ooh, actually, I like how these kind of fit together. Um. How do I feel about this? I kind of love this table set with the tea kettle and the cups and the tray. I'm wondering if I'll ever actually use these big items. It's a Nemo. Um, 
Oh, and a Dory. Nice. Um, I think it's really fun that they gave us this item that's so animated. Really cool. I hope they continue to do that. And also, this octopus is a little bit scary looking. Are you the only one that prefers outfit challenge to decor? I don't really have too much of a preference, but I think I do prefer decor challenges. You're good, a bit tired. A bit disappointed for your Xbox submission. I'm sorry, I also didn't do as well as I would have liked to on Dream Snaps this week, but there's always next week. Hi, Henry. Hello, hello. I'm going to leave this here for a minute. Maybe we'll run past it later. The fact that the sushi set doesn't center on the table irks you. Okay, I was going to say that, but I didn't want... <laughs> I, I was going to say it, but I decided to just let it go partially because uh, I guess in theory I could put it on a different table. And also because it's Dreamlight Valley and nothing centers. But that would be nice, especially since it's not like... It looks like it's something for the table to share. It doesn't look like a one-person thing. If it was like a one-person setting at a table i think it would make sense if it didn't center but i would like it if it did um where are we going to take our picture oh you know what might be nice a waterfall or we could take it facing this way if i moved the beach house i'm just scouting for locations i don't think i want to take my picture in the frosted heights for the stream snaps I think I want it to be on a beach. I think this locale might be cute. In fact, we might even be able to leave the beach house. Um, wrong thing. You wish you could sit on the benches or stools. That would be nice. Oh wait, this is such a wide angle. Hmm. Possibly here. Let me look at some other spots on the beach. Nothing is symmetrical. Exactly. That's sort of just what I've come to expect. Although it would really be nice if things were symmetrical. Suppose we could do here. I don't think I like this as much, though. Although it might be more visually interesting with the islands in the distance. Let me pop over to Eternity Isle and see if there's a place with a waterfall that might be nice. Mm. Let's check. Kim, you got 4k moonstones for the first time ever. Congratulations. Oh, and in 100% on your presentation. That's fabulous. I'm so happy for you. Um, I don't think so with the waterfall. This is not giving beachy vibes, even though we are close to the shore. The only other option would be in the lagoon, but that's pretty much already decorated. Actually, let me pop over there. Hi, Riley. Hi, Princess Luca. You looked away from the screen for a minute and looked back to see a whole octopus <laughs> making sushi. <laughs> You didn't know they had that item. It's from the premium shop today. It's new. Your quality of life wish list is always things to center and be able to place stuff on an angle. Mine too. I feel like it's such a seemingly small thing, but it would bring me so much joy. And I do feel like it would make decorating so, so much nicer. Um, okay, I did do a little bit more decorating here, by the way. Not really that much, but a teensy tiny. Uh, no, this is also too grassy. Okay, we're gonna have to go back. But also, let me pop over here. I can't move through there like I thought I could. Uh, what I've decided is that I want this area back here to be like a haven for the sisters, by the way. So I'm thinking about putting a, like, flower arranging area over here for Isabella. A nice casual chill place for Mirabelle to relax over here. What should we do for Louisa? I need ideas. I thought about putting a piano, but that felt a little bit um, like she never actually played a piano, to my knowledge. 
in the movie, although I could be mistaken. And also she got upset carrying a piano, so I don't know if that's the right vibe. Lurking and working. Thank you so much, Amanda. I hope work's going well. Don't you have to be in Frosted Heights for this stream snap? No, I don't think so. It's a chill summer. Escape the winters. Well, combine summer and winter clothes to create your unique look. Chill summer. I feel like it could be in either, like either the beach or frosted. I think I'm going to do the beach. You really want a koi pond now with this sushi set? Yes. I think a koi pond would be really fun. I think I'd probably use it a lot of places. So I think we'll probably do our picture here. Let me find a good spot. Oh, a coconut gym? The coconut gym for Louisa. That's a good idea. Do I want... No, I don't want the bridge in the picture. I think we're going to be around here. So I might need to move Ariel's castle. Okay. Let me... Can I drop something from my pocket to mark where I'm standing so I can mark it in furniture mode? Let's see, let's see. We need a donkey for Louisa. Right. If only... Please, 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 Game Loft. <laughs> Give me a premium shop item like the octopus making sushi, but it's just the donkeys dancing in surface pressure. I would pay so many moonstones for that. <laughs> I would love it so much. Okay, let me put just, I don't know, something I'm going to be able to see. That there. Sure, absolutely. You used sunlit and it looks really good. Nice, nice. Such an interesting theme for the first day of spring. True, actually. Hi, Candia. Hello, hello. This is an odd challenge that can be depicted so different from everyone, depending on how they interpret it. Yeah, exactly. I feel like we're going to see a lot of interesting submissions. So that's fun. I am indeed going to do the thing where I make my setting first and then we'll come back and pick an outfit, which I understand doesn't really make sense, considering the fact that it's an outfit challenge, but... This is just the way that I am. Can't do anything about it. You use the transition between Elsa's cave and the Forest of Valor. Oh, nice. How cute would it be if we could ride donkeys in our valley? That would be cute. But also, you know what else I wish we could ride? I wish we could ride... Um... um the item that was in the premium shop last week, was that last week? It's the Monsters, Inc. like city ride. It has the little, um, it's essentially like an attraction ride car on it that has the safety bar. So I feel like it's just begging to be, to have our character plopped inside, skirting around. How do you get 6,000 max items? Um, you can only get it if you have certain platforms that you play the game on. I believe it's PC, PlayStation 5, and what's the newer Xbox? I ask this question all the time because I don't know anything about Xbox. But uh, yes, PC, the newer PlayStation, and the newer Xbox, you can increase your item limit. I believe it's under help. Yes. And you can turn the extra object limit on, meaning you go from, I believe, 600 unique items and 3,000 individual items to 1,200 and 6,000. Xbox X and S. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um...
I need more difference in dimension with these trees. I'm going to start with the trees because I feel like all things considered, we might try to have a somewhat simple set. Imagine me <laughs> having a simple picture. <laughs> we'll try. Uh, so I mostly want to rely on the trees to give us some framing, as it were. Okay, let me move this one up. And this one maybe in and back a little bit. What do they mean by unique items? Um, what's the best way to explain it? The bottom item is counts every single thing that you have in your valley. So it'll count one, two trees, one rock cluster, three items. It'll count, I think it counts all of these trees. So that would be an additional six. Whereas the unique items on the top only looks at the item type. So for these two trees, it would only count one tree to the unique items because they're the same thing. And for these six trees, it would only count one thing because they're all the same tree type. Does that make sense? Did I get the Lady Tremaine house? I did. I really like it. Hmm. I need more of this tree in, in the front to be in this picture. What if I turn it this way and pull it in a little bit more? You love these trees. They remind you of Grandmother Willow from Pocahontas, but ice version? They're really good trees. I think we do have a painting in game of Grandmother Willow that does quite a bit favor these trees. Even more. What if I move it here? I know this is the super tedious part of Dream Snaps. I'm really sorry. It's not very interesting. Just moving trees slightly from side to side, <laughs> trying to get the best position possible. There we go. Maybe the outfit has enough tags. It could, but I don't think it suits the theme as much as I, I would want it to. I think I need to rotate this tree. I don't think I like it facing this direction. What about this way? I definitely want to bring in some of the snow flurry clouds from the Tangled collection. Those will help kind of sell the snow on the beach vibe. Oh, I need to rotate it again. Polar Gaming, hello, hello, how are you? We pretty much are literally at the beginning stages of conceptualizing our dream snap, so absolutely no worries. I don't know why I keep pressing the inventory button instead of... Instead of the one that I actually want. I think I like this a little bit better. Hmm. We'll leave it for now. Okay, let's grab some beachy items and some frozen items. I think I'm just going to set them over here for now and then we'll plop them into into our scene. So I'm going to filter by Frozen and also Lilo and Stitch. Maybe Moana. There we go. Hi, Mama T. How are you? You wish they would add a separate Dream Snap for Touch of Magic challenges, even if the reward was coins instead. I do think Touch of Magic being added would be really nice. I know not everyone agrees, but I would really like that. 
Ooh, maybe we can use some shells. Uh, I don't think I want that. Frozen fountain. Beach towel set up. I feel like an amp is such a beachy thing to have. What else? Definitely these, but I might go ahead and place these. Or some of them around at least. What is Touch of Magic? Oh, it's a customization option that's in game, so you can use it on furniture or on clothing. And it lets you use motifs that you acquire in game to decorate either the clothing or furniture items that you choose. Maybe surfboards? Anything else? It's calling to me. Maybe the Anna statue. Why do I feel like I'm thinking of something in particular that I don't think I found? I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Uh, this is Touch of Magic, by the way. So you can make a bunch of different things. A whole bunch of furniture items. And then if you go into wardrobe, you can also click customize to see the items that you can make that are clothing. And then you pick what you want. And you can change the color, the texture, and add any designs that you have onto it. It's really fun, actually. Ah! Come on. <laughs> Cancel. Think no, what? Cancel? What is happening? There we go. Okay. We're going to put, oh, these aren't going to work with me because of the snow clouds. Uh, we're taking the image facing this way, sort of. Maybe we'll bring these back this way. I'm sure a lot of this will end up getting rearranged. That's where I'm going to be standing. I don't know if this is going to be in the image. Doesn't hurt to try. I have to move some of these snow clouds. They're so fun. But so inconvenient. Because they don't really let you put anything under them. Sure, Anna can go there. Hi, Jamie. How are you? This week's outfit challenge makes you think of the Disney Channel Johnny Tsunami. Oh my goodness. I don't actually know if I've ever seen Johnny Tsunami. Wait, no, I have to have. There's no universe in which I haven't seen Johnny Tsunami. I don't know, though, if I actively remember it. Um, What am I thinking of, though? Give me a second. Brief intermission while I do research. Is Johnny Kapahala back on board related to Johnny Tsunami? I feel like it is. I distinctly remember that one. That one I think was very solidly in my my Disney Channel era. Let me put that there. Didn't even realize you put the that I put the clouds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put the clouds down after I put the trees. They actually fit nicely into the trees, which was a pleasant surprise. Wasn't expecting that to be the case. Wait. We 
we're gonna have something here. I can feel it in my soul. Uh, definitely need to move things around a little bit. But I feel like this has a lot of potential. I kind of want to move Anna. The frozen Anna statue to be kind of closer to me. Oops. Can I exit now? There we go. It's the sequel of the Johnny Tsunami movie. Okay, I thought so. Just was not sure. Oh, I can't do that because of the clouds. Can I move this cloud way this way? No. Oh, I could put it here. Maybe that would work. And then I kind of want to, let's see. Sari, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. I appreciate that. Oh, wait, by the way, actually, we're going to have a member stream on Friday. Let me see if I can actually gift some memberships quickly. I always explain this anytime I do it. Uh, this is the most obnoxious process. It doesn't let me do it through YouTube Studio. So I actually have to go into YouTube elsewhere, into my own stream <laughs> and see if I can gift memberships that way. Uh, close. Can I? Uh, yeah. There we go. No, I'm not talking to you, ma'am. Okay. There we go. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Okay. I think I also want to bring some bushes, perhaps. And welcome to all of the new members. And again, Sari, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really, really appreciate it. And I think we will use... Um... What if we use some of the glade bushes? And maybe we can also use some of the purple ones. Oh, yeah, no worries. YouTube gives me memberships that I can gift out. So when I remember, I, <laughs> I try to make sure I do that. OK, there we go. Oh, we need a cooler, the cooler from the Wally collection as well. And I think I'm going to want, yes, purple bush there to bring in the more purple and cooler. Maybe we should also grab some beach grass. That might be nice. All Wally items. Can pop this over by the surfboards, maybe. A sunlit bush might look nice. Maybe I want to keep most of the foliage and that we're going to use, I think, to be something that feels like it could be in the Frosted Heights. But I do think for the beach, I've seen a lot of people use the sunlit um, plans and it looks really good. What if we pop that there? There we go. What's the theme this week? Um, I think it's technically called chilled summer. It's an outfit challenge that's supposed to be a combination of summer vibes and winter vibes. So I'm starting by making our little beach set here. Kind of trying to figure out what we're doing for the picture. And then I'm going to move into figuring out my outfit, which I understand is a weird way to go about this, but we're doing it nonetheless. I don't need this bush in front of this tree. It makes no difference whatsoever. I kind of don't like having that cloud there in the back where it is. I might see if I can move it to the other side of the chairs. 
Okay. And then the bushes on the left side, I need to readjust to get more in frame. Okay. Thanks for hanging out, Samantha. I hope you have a great dinner. The notification reminded you that Wish will stream on April 3rd. I know. I'm so excited. I can't wait to watch it again. I remember after I saw the movie, I read some interview. What was I moving? Oh, the snow cloud. I saw some interview that somebody who worked on it had done talking about how the team had an entire spreadsheet of all of the Disney Easter eggs that they sprinkled into the movie because they had so many that they had to have some way to keep them all straight. And I think that's the coolest thing I've ever heard. And I love a spreadsheet and I love Easter eggs. So I'm very excited to rewatch it and hopefully figure out some of those those little nods to other movies that are in Wish. I'm going to put this back here. Since you missed out on it while being on your walk, may you share the ones that you want in game. The characters that you want? Absolutely. Maybe the ice chest cooler and some popsicles. The popsicles are a great idea. I need to do that for sure. I feel like this is a little bit cute. I might move that amp to be in front of the chairs and move the coconut basket over a little bit so we can see it better. And maybe move this beach grass up to like the bottom left of the image. But I think I'm liking this. It's a little bit simple. I mean, to be fair, it's an outfit challenge. This doesn't have to look like the most incredible beach design we've ever seen. I think if I move it there, it'll kind of be in the right place. They should publish that spreadsheet somewhere like a scavenger hunt. I know after they mentioned it. I, sorry, <laughs> I thought I heard something in my house. Um, after I saw them mention it, I looked around to see if it was posted anywhere. I don't think I saw it anywhere, which is a shame, really. Okay, I need to move the grass even more. Do I want Ariel's house to be back there? Do I want the beach house to be back there? I don't actually mind the beach house. I don't know if I love having Ariel's house there, though. Gonna be great. Maui's home might look good in the background. You're right. I might switch out Maui's house and Ariel's house, actually. Not that I have anything against Ariel's house. I think it's really beautiful. Um... Well, I think it really suits Ariel. I don't think it's my absolute favorite house, but in this image in particular, I don't think it's the best. So maybe we'll pop this one here. Then I'll need to go make some popsicles. Kristoff is going to have to go soon, though. He can enjoy this fishing for now. But then he's going to have to skedaddle. Yeah, I think I prefer Maui's house. I might even scoot it further over. I just don't. Yeah, I might scoot it a little bit closer to the middle. Let me move this back a little bit as well. Covering from appendicitis. Oh, no, I am so sorry to hear that. Did I ever tell the story? <laughs> about uh, how much I loved the live action Madeline movie in which she had appendicitis and my dad got it at the same time. And then I really wanted to have appendicitis. And now 
as somebody who has studied medicine, I realized that I really don't want that. But at the time, child me was like, wow. Why do all of the good things happen to other people? <laughs> Hi, kitty. Hello, hello. How are you? Uh, I need to, I, this beach grass is frustrating me. I can't explain it. Something about the placement is just not doing it for me. Do I have the snowman companion? I do. I haven't thought yet about companions that I might want to use. I'll have to think about that. Uh, that's a little better, I think. Do I want to move Maui's house even a little bit more? No, I think I like it where it is. I might move this coconut beverage a little bit, though. You want Pocahontas and the cats from Aristocats? Tigger, Shang, Oliver, Dodger. I would love to have um, the crew from Oliver and Company. I feel like that's such an underrated movie. I'll leave that that way. Not dreaming about appendicitis. To be fair, I was probably like five years old, six years old. I was a small baby child. And I didn't really understand the gravity of things. Okay, let me go. Eric doesn't have a kitchen, I don't think. Hi, Liza. How are you? Oliver is one of your top five Disney movies. It's so good. I think about it regularly. Okay, popsicles, here we come. Mm. There we go. You think Forky would be a cool addition to the game? I've never seen, wait. Is Forky in the third Toy Story? I don't think I remember seeing Forky in the third Toy Story, but it's very possible. Um, but I never saw the fourth Toy Story movie. I don't really have an opinion about Forky, to be honest. Magister, hello, how are you? I'm glad you could make it. Welcome in. Your dream since you were three was to have an orange cat and name him Oliver. Uh, Oliver was like the cutest animated cat. I don't know. I don't know why I feel that way. But when I think about animated cats, Oliver is definitely up there in cuteness factor. Let's drop this. Where am I going to put this? Oh, it's larger than I thought it was. I don't know that I've ever placed this in world before. Maybe we'll move the coconuts and maybe we'll put this. Sorry. <laughs> um, maybe we'll put the popsicle thing by these chairs. Yes. You won't see the amp, but maybe we'll move the amp down here. Or maybe we'll just get rid of the amp. Who knows? Who knows? Fourth. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say I have seen Toy Story 3, but I don't remember Forky being in it. But I think I only saw Toy Story 3 the one time, so it's very possible that I could have just forgotten. Okay. Let's see how we're looking. Don't know what that flash was. Didn't love it. Wait, this is going to be kind of cute. Do we need like a little bit of... um Pathing? From something? I don't know. 
I think actually I just don't need anything else. I think I might move the coconuts again though. And I might move them up here. Borky is like nails on a chalkboard to you. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> The only thing I know about Forky really is uh, that he is a scramble coin piece. <laughs> it's pretty much all. OK, now we need an outfit. Look at us making great time with this stream snap. Go us. Although the outfit part is probably going to be the hard part if I'm being really real. Um. Do I have this outfit saved on a mannequin? I think I do. We're fine. If not, it's not the most involved out. Oh, ignore this. I just wanted <laughs> I just wanted some texture under the cardigan. So I put this. I think it's supposed to be a soap bubble motif. Uh, I just put it on a tank top because you couldn't see the rest of it. Uh, change into something else for now, girl. Uh, take off the skirt. Well, no, that's actually wearing the skirt. I think I want to go the shorts route. And we need actually I'm going to take off all of our accessories as well. Because we should add them all back in with things that hopefully suit the tags. Shoes, who needs them? Socks, who needs them? You're thinking of playing it risky and doing an indoor with half the room as winter and half the room as summer. That's fun. Yeah, I never really know how indoor dream snaps are going to do. But also, again, it's an outfit challenge. So I feel like the locale is probably slightly less important than if it were a decor challenge. I just a little bit treat every dream snap as though it's a combo. Uh, what am I wanting? Thoughts on this dream snap theme? I think it's kind of fun. That being said, I haven't actually tried to put together an outfit yet, so I very well could change my mind about- I- this game is making me nervous. Let me save. I really could change my mind about it once I start actually trying to put something together. I'm kind of feeling the blonde hair. I kind of want to go blonde in real life. Anyway, um... Let's see. Shorts. And I have my list of tags that we need. Elegant, wondrous, and casual. Elegant, wondrous, and casual. Hi, Kayla. Hello. How are you? We could do something really beachy like these. I feel like that might perhaps be in our best interest to really get the point across. I don't know what color we would go for. a purple to kind of stand out from our surroundings a little bit more i don't know uh tops see what we have you're thinking shorts tank top and a cardigan for your outfit but gotta check tags first yeah it's really the tags that'll get you sometimes Hmm. I'm pretty sure they wore this top in one of the images that's the example for the dream snap. So I don't know if that's the best buy, but we also have this that kind of matches. They're slightly different purples. I think that's always annoyed me a little bit. It's not a huge deal, but let's try this for now. Companions, I feel like it would indeed be cute to use our snow raccoon. And if we pose with him, it's not going to block our outfit. 
I think that's probably partially a reason why my last dream snap did not do very well. Filters, elegant, wondrous, and casual. Hmm. Hmm. What if we get rid of wondrous? We have some more options here. Do we have any like snow hats here though? Not really. We could do like a bandana moment. You might be the only one who puts this much real life thought in this game, but you always only dress your avatar in outfits you wear in real life. I mostly dress my avatar in things that even if I wouldn't necessarily wear them in real life, I at least think they're cute. I feel like the vibe is kind of going to be a winter hat, though. I don't know. Maybe I should just pick a winter hat. And then hope that it fits the tags. Wait, what winter hats do we have? Hello? <laughs> I don't remember. We'll come back to it. Glasses. I do wear glasses in real life. I don't know that I'm feeling glasses for this look, although it's kind of a shame sometimes to not wear them for outfit challenges. Maybe a baseball cap? Maybe. I'm... <laughs> My amount of excitement about this dream snap is dramatically decreasing as I'm actually looking at these items. I feel like these are kind of fun and snowy. We do them in the purple, they might match this better. I think this is one of the shirts that won't like the necklaces. Oh no, it actually does. I never wear necklaces in game. I also never wear necklaces in real life. You did surprisingly well with the companion dream snap. Ranked 603. Nice. That's amazing. I do love the rainbow fox. I think it's pretty cute. I think I used the rainbow fox in... What was that dream snap? It was an outfit challenge. It was essentially a pride challenge, but they didn't call it that because they can't call it that. Or they won't call it that, but... Yeah, we had a fun, like, rainbow lights moment and... Used the rainbow fox. If we use the red, I think we have a winter hat with red on it. I just need to find it. But the... Mm. I need a jacket. A jacket might be what's required to pull this together. Well, good thing that jacket is next, so... You're grinding for cores and getting everything, but... Oh, getting everything but cores. Yeah, the cores are really hard to come by. That's one of the reasons why I really like having... Um, what am I thinking of? I really like having... So many time benders. That took so long for me to come up with. Because um, that way when you finally do get the cores... They drop just a bunch of things. I feel like there's a world in which we go with a purple coat. Change the color of the outfit that we have underneath. Or we just go a very <laughs> monochromatic look. I kind of like these. It's the hat that's throwing me off. I promise it is. 
There is a winter. Oh, there is a winter hat hairstyle. I don't think I want to wear that, though. I wish we could change the color of that hat. And I also wish we just had the hat separately. But I know we do have winter hats. I just need to find them. Um, Oh, socks. Knee high socks. Over the knee socks. Definitely need some boots. Do we have any that are going to fit all of the tags? We do. What if we try to go for a green under the purple? I think that would be nice. These boots are a little better. Or we go with the purple. I like the purple. The purple coat and scarf is so pretty. Yeah, I never wear this jacket. I never really wear jackets in this game at all, to be honest. But these ones are pretty nice ones. I do like them. Okay, I'm probably not going to wear a back accessory. I, does anyone else feel the need to be super like tags oriented and more min maxi with outfit challenges oh i can't wear that yeah no i'm not gonna be able to wear any of that because i usually don't really worry about it that much but i feel like outfit challenges in particular i feel that there's so little wiggle room so you kind of have to go all out if you can what if I just wear like the thing is that these are evening gloves, but I don't think they're going to necessarily read as such here. They might just read as regular gloves if we can make that happen. I think I'm also mad that I'm a blonde right now. <laughs> I feel like that's very much throwing me off a little bit. Let me change my hair. You find it a lot harder to hit the tags with outfit challenges because you don't want to just throw on a mismatch of stuff to hit the tags. That's usually how I feel, too. With this particular challenge, it's also the additional weirdness of like, when are you ever really going to wear beachy clothes and winter clothes at the same time? It just feels that it doesn't make sense. Ooh, I feel like this hair has the potential to look really nice with um, a winter hat if we can find one. Can I be a brunette again? What is that? Oh, that's the headband. Oh, well, maybe we'll have to change it then. Hats. I still... I still will never understand why they did this. <laughs> why did they do this? Oh, oh no. I just remembered why I never wear the winter hats. I'm not doing this. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Does anyone play The Sims? And if you do. Um... You might kind of understand what I'm going to say. Why do games do that? Why? Why? Why do they make the hats like float above your head and like sit on your hat, your head like an actual coronet, like a crown would not like a cute modern tiara or something like an actual heavy crown? It makes me so sad. You never do well on outfit challenges, so you usually just do mid-tier effort instead of going all out, so you're not disappointed. Oh, no. I'm kind of like that to a certain extent. Um, 
But I don't know. I, I do enjoy the challenge. I don't know what to say. I think it's fun, so I do tend to... still spend a fair amount of time, even if I think it's not going to end up doing well. Oh, oh, those are the ones that made me mad. The blue and the turquoise don't go together whatsoever. We could potentially do the green. We might have to just go with an all purple number. What do we think? Do we like the green better or do we like the purple better for the clothes underneath the clothes? The hat is giving King Charles. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. It's like where the hat like sits on your forehead. And it's like level with the ground, but that's not how humans wear winter hats. I don't think I've ever seen someone wear a winter hat like that before. No worries, Kitty. Um, I think it's also kind of sad that these are separated. I think I kind of like the green. We'll take a picture and we'll see. Uh. Uh. Oh, I can pick up this rock also. And also, I think I was going to see about bringing a little bit of pathing. I don't think I'm going to like it. I'm not going to do it. Why would I? There's no need. OK, the time has come. Vanellope's here. Girl, don't you ruin this for me. Oh, that's my snow person. I think it's a little bit cute. Is it a little bit of mess? Yes. But I think. <laughs> Can you tell I'm trying to talk myself into it? Uh, I think it's cute. You know what I should probably do? Do I want to tempt my computer? I think I want to. Oh, let me do this. Oh, wait. Give me a second. Let me pull up my way to see how my computer is liking or hating me let me also okay i'm going to tempt fate for a second we're gonna bump up the resolution scale while i take this photo oh no it's doing the thing where it won't change the angle no okay turn the resolution scale back down how do I fix that again? I might have to teleport somewhere. I might have to go back to the main screen and come back. It's so cute. Thank you. I think it'll be OK. Do I want Olaf? I don't think I even need Olaf. I really thought about. Oh, wait, he's here. Well, then I guess you can stay. You're not really in the picture, but. What if I just push I'm you just into it a little bit? Dream. What if I just like shove you over here? And then you can stand like, I don't know. He's like, no, I'm running away. <laughs> no worries, Olaf. I appreciate you being here temporarily. Hi, Wolfie. How are you? No, no, no. OK, I'm going to have to quickly go back to main menu and come back. Because sometimes it does this thing. Where it won't actually let me change the camera angle. Was Merlin sleeping? I think so. And then we'll come back in. What do I think of the premium shop items this week? What do I think? I love the house. I really like the house and I'm excited to try to find a place to put it and a way to decorate it. Um, I really like the the accessory item that we got, the little basket with the chocolate and the bread and stuff. I think that's really cute. I think my issue with the accessories is just more of 
like why what what is the purpose of them because we can't use them in pictures so it just a little bit feels like they're cute for maybe the rare occasion that you're actually running around with them but there's no real purpose to them what else uh the clothing set that's been there before is cute i like the skirt from it a lot and i think it would be really good in this week's stream snap and the sushi thing, I'm still a little bit not certain how I feel about it. I love the animations. I do think the octopus looks a little bit creepy. Um, I think it's a really fun item, but I don't know if I will actually use it anywhere in my valley. Or I don't know where I would use it. Okay. Back down here. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Just, oh, camera. No, it's still doing it. Does anyone remember? I feel like there was a way in particular to fix that. I don't want to have to close out my game completely. That feels so unnecessary. And I don't think it's just my controller because like I can move. Can I? I can change it like this. Can I change it like this? Oh, wait, I can now. Hmm. Is it that it doesn't like it with the graphics up? Sorry, I'm <laughs> live troubleshooting right now. A very weird. Oh, I can. Weird. OK, well. This is not right. Maybe I was facing more forward this way when I did it. Yeah, that's a little bit better, I think. The framing is still a little bit off, but I think we'll be all right. There we go. No, 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 don't save. Dream snaps, submit, and then save. <laughs> we got it. Okay, and then I will check. Oh, I forgot. We were waiting until that thing happened to be able to finish that star path duty okay wonderful let me make sure we have it submitted yes okay listen i think it's cute is it my favorite dream snap that i've ever created no however for the theme for what it is i think it's a bit of fun no worries jamie thank you for lurking everyone wants to come hang out here now Gaston, what are you plotting? I feel like he's looking at Maui's house and plotting something. I don't know what it is. Putting a sushi restaurant together on the aisle took you the least amount of time of anything ever. You love it? You put it in the Eve Island. Oh, that's cool. I would almost want to put it inside, but I feel like these items are really big and they probably wouldn't work super well indoors like they definitely feel like they're supposed to be outside actually i don't know let's try to put them inside and see how they would fit just for fun the sushi shop will be cute if we get more items like that with mulan hmm I'm interested to see what items we get with Mulan. I feel like it might be one of those things kind of like with Nightmare Before Christmas, where we got a few things spread out over multiple updates. I don't know if we'll get like a large influx of furniture with Mulan entering, but I hope we do. That would be nice. Um, I don't know where I have an empty room. Do I have an empty room on the 10th floor? Sure. 
I mean, most of my rooms are empty. I don't know why I said it like that, but furniture. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to go into one of the corner rooms, but this is fine. This works. This definitely works. Can they even place inside? Good question. Well, yes, they can. Oops. Whoa. Yeah, it takes up a quarter of the room. <laughs> so it probably wouldn't make too much sense to try to place it inside, to be honest. I almost wish the stools were moved over a little bit so you could place this on one side and it would line up. I don't know why. I just feel like that would be very satisfying. You kind of like it better inside. I feel like if you wanted to do it inside, you'd have to place the octopus cutting the sushi and then probably set the individual tables, maybe not use the whole table set. You know what? I need to go back inside. I want to change out of this outfit. And change back into this outfit. So we can run around with our cute basket. That chocolate would be so melted. Okay, okay, okay. You already got 10 more booths? Wait, what are you doing with them? I'm so curious. You know, I really like the folks around here. Okay. What to do now? We finished in record time. Not really, but it was pretty quick. Um, maybe we can go back to decorating a little bit on the aisle. I feel like that could work. This is kind of a cute setup. I don't think I would ever leave something like this on my beach permanently, but for the time being, when I run past it until I tear it down, I'll probably be like, that's kind of cute. Let me save my game and then we'll go over to Eternity Isle. Pop into the lagoon. Hi, Lady Aloha. How are you? Oh, I can also move this now that I'm not playing with fate anymore. Okay. Um, I need to finish this deck area. I'm also still not sure how I feel about these wooden pieces being here. Can't tell if I like it or not. And I a little bit want to line this. Oh, I wanted to line it with bushes, but I feel like that would not work because I don't have any like bushes of the type that I would use here in this section of the biome, so it would feel really out of place, I think. Okay, in that case, we're going to pull out a bunch of foliage stuff. Doing well. Happy to be home after spending a night at the hospital. I hope you're doing okay. Glad you're home again. Probably use one of these. Perhaps. You think the wooden cover... Wait. Oh, the wood over it is good because when it rains, it would be so muddy without it. That's true. That is very true. I think yellow and purple is a good vibe. I forgot I use this. I love this blue table, but it really makes me sad that this blue table is only a one by three for putting items on top of it. Because I always want to use it with flower pots, but they don't fit. What other things? This one feels very Isabella to me. What else do I like? These ones are kind of fun and funky. 
Maybe I'll grab this. The Venus flytrap, maybe. You used some marigold baskets around too. Oh, nice. The marigold baskets are so giant. I always expect them to be smaller than they are, but they're so big. Cacti, maybe the red pot. What else do we like? I don't really need pumpkins. Maybe we can do a purple cactus plant also. Ooh, I almost want something like this. Are these still? Well, I mean, we haven't really had a patch, so I assume they're still broken. Why do I put this like that? Ooh, or, oh, I, I don't really. How do we feel about the colored flower? rectangles and discs do we like these i feel like i like the arrangement of the flowers in these but i wish they were different colors i'm not a huge fan of the monochromaticness of them uh is there a quick way to find a blue chest besides running around the valley looking you could look around in furniture mode so kind of just zoom out and scan and then zoom in if you need to get closer to look, but those are kind of the only two ways. You only like the orange disc? You like them for certain biomes, not so much for the natural areas. Yeah, I guess if you specifically wanted one color of things, it would make sense, but I feel like typically I'm not going for or a monochromatic look. I don't want to put this on the ground. Maybe this one too. You thought we hadn't yet? Don't the patches come out relatively soon after? It really depends. But I really don't think we've had a patch yet, so. Because, yeah, these yellow flowers, at least in this plant cluster, I don't know if it's in all of them. They're a little broken at the moment. I might actually move this down here. And we can put these around here. This there. And those there. Something like that, perhaps? You go away. Maybe I'll bring this one over here. Welcome back, kitty. No worries. Thank you for stopping by, Lady Aloha. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hmm. I feel that I am losing this a little bit so i think i'm going to try to move this over move this there move these back here let me just leave these more spread out perhaps Yeah, I think I like that better. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this here or not. I like it in theory, but I don't know if I like it in practice. Also need to get rid of this.
The music is so good on the aisle. Oh my goodness. The basket is really cute, isn't it? It's so cute. I wish we could take pictures with it. Look, it's adorable. It's just so much fun. I do love these items. It's just, again, I feel like there's no point to them because I'll probably run around with it today and then I'll probably forget it exists because we can't do anything with it. Oh, also, thank you for the sip reminder. Drinking some coffee at the moment. I'm gonna push this back a little bit. I want a rug here and I think I want it to be the Encanto rug. Isn't that from the Encanto collection? This pink one? Do I want it here, here? Maybe I'll put it here. Then maybe I'll grab... Oh, I wish I could put this under the seat. That'd be nice. Well, in that case, maybe we'll also just have a leafy rug here. Beautiful. I say this all the time, but I mean it over here. I do want to leave this area fairly open. <laughs> fairly open and accessible I don't want it to be too over cluttered with things really cute thank you I think it'll work out it'll end up being pretty nice what does Mirabelle like I heard, like, I think a theory at some point that she likes to sew, but I feel like that's not specifically canon. You know what I think Mirabelle likes to do? <laughs> I think Mirabelle probably likes to read. <laughs> and if that's the case, I can get some books. Ooh, the telescope does not go with this. I wish we had a little bit more of a, what's the word I'm thinking of? I wish we had a little bit more of a generically stylized telescope. Put it back here. That's cute. I kind of want a table to put here. And I kind of want it to be the table from the Moana collection, I believe. Hi, Ignis. How are you? Okay, and then this tree looks very sad and lonely, so I will need a bit of underbrush to help it out. Beautiful. Another day, another sleigh. <laughs> Listen, I try. I feel like I typically tend to think of it as another day, another struggle, but we keep trying. I feel like if you push through the struggle enough, it turns into at least a sleigh for trying. Slay for effort. Listen, I like this. It's simple. I feel like I'm just going to put a little bit of grass here and not touch anything on this side of the house. We're just going to accept the fact that it's going to be the way that it is. Yes. 
upon further reflection, we don't really have anything for Louisa over here, but I don't know. Oh, wait, the coconut thing. Actually, let me look at it. Do we want to bring Gaston's energy over here? That's the real question. Not this ramshackle <laughs> exercise equipment. Maybe Louisa likes archery. I'm not going to put any of that back here. Maybe Louisa also likes reading. And why not, I say. I think I do want another tree here. But I think we'll mostly just pull, put a tree and call it a day. I feel like that's the vibe. Not doing too much with the back of the house. I can't wait to decorate with these. I don't really love them for the wild tangle, but I'm going to have such a heyday with them in Ancient's Landing. Just you wait. I know they're essentially just slight redesigns of the ones we already have for the wild tangle, but still. Thanks so much, Izzy. We are working on the aisle. That's our current decorating adventure. And we've made a fair bit of progress. The Glittering Dunes is totally done. After we finish this section of the Wild Tangle, it's going to be about halfway done. And yeah, having a good time with it. Making a lush jungle area. Maybe this way. I think that way works. With just one of those. Let's pop down and see. Yeah, I really don't think we need anything else back here, except, well, maybe we'll put another... How accessible is that from this? Or, like, visible is that from this? A little bit, but this might actually be a cute spot to put... I don't know if this will work. I really wanted to use the tangled couch. I feel like it could work. Hi, Ella. How are you? Um, Right now we're back to decorating the lagoon in the aisle, which is where I have mini casita. It's essentially the Madrigal's like area. I need to find a better word for it. <laughs> it's the Madrigal's domain, essentially. Uh, we finished working on our dream snap for the week, so for the rest of stream, I'm probably going to be trying to finish this up. Yeah, I think I think I like that. I might actually try to bring another one of the rugs over here. Just another place people can come and sit to be a little bit away from the family. I feel like when you have a big family, you need places to go to just be in the quiet away from people. Even if you have your room, I feel like your room sometimes ends up not even being a safe space. Because people know if they need you, they can track you down in your room. Madrigal Manor? That's so good. Why did I not think of that? This will be the Madrigal Manor. They've got this huge open area of land that they've cultivated to their specific tastes and needs as a family. Even though we only have Mirabelle right now, but in the future, hopefully we have more of them. I might actually just leave this mostly open. I might bring a few more flowers in the terracotta pots and place them around here. And maybe we'll make some foods or get some ingredients and put them on this table. So it looks like they have a nice spread. That might be fun. 
How about a table with a drink? That's a good idea too. I might see if I can make that fit by the couch. I just don't want it to be peeking over too, too much into this area. But maybe I can put it in front of it a little bit. Not like totally in front of it, but just a tippy top bit. Maybe I use the same Moana table. Like we could put it there perhaps, or we could even put it over here. I feel like it probably looks a little bit better over here. And then that's just simply begging for a bush. Not an actual bush. Well, I guess you, I don't know what you would call these. They're not really bushes as such. They're really just kind of plants. Trying to not have it clip too much into the couch, but I still want it to look like it's, yeah, beautiful. Got the coat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, I don't know what it's called exactly either. I usually call it a cardigan. I don't know if that's what the game calls it, but yeah, from the star path. I just unlocked that maybe a couple streams ago. And I really like it. It's really cute. And I think it goes perfectly with this cute basket that we got from the premium shop today. Okay. We need some foods. I will accept recommendations for what kind of foods we should put on the table for the Madrigals. I know we have Unuelos, right? That we specifically had to make for a Mirabelle quest, I believe. So we'll definitely make one of those. I ran right past it. Right past my place to cook. Yes, here we go. Arepas. I don't know if I know that recipe. Let me see. I can look it up. To the wiki. I've never had one before, but I feel like they would be so delicious. Okay, corn, cheese, and agave. Uh, not here. I think corn is under vegetables. Yes. Corn and cheese. And agave. Interesting. I wonder how close that is to the actual ingredients within this. Because agave is quite sweet. And a sweet and also cheesy corn cake. I don't know that that sounds like the most amazing vibe known to man. Why am I running around like this? Let me do a quick quick look through. I feel like a cheese platter is great. They look like pupusas. I don't think I know what those are. Oh, is that a cooking memory? Please be new. I also want to make a bevy at some point. Uh, what else? What else? Maybe I'll make a grilled veggie platter. Cornmeal, queso fresco, milk and water and stuffed with mozzarella cheese. Where does the agave come in then, I wonder? Keep moving. <laughs> I don't know what, what is up with life is essentially what's happening. I, yeah, I don't know why. What? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I hate that. I had my stream open on my phone <laughs> so that I could type in that I was back or that I knew that I was down and I would be back. And then it started playing when stream popped up again. And uh, that 
was another example of me hearing my own voice and I was like please get it away from me as soon as possible yeah I don't know why OBS and the game have been really not my biggest fan recently but it, yeah it's so weird I blame Dreamlight Valley honestly that never happens when I'm playing Coral Island so DDV I'm looking at you let me get back to this I'm gonna make this food again Uh, and in fact, my memory is deciding to cooperate with me. So I remember we need- oh wait, no. She's spoken too soon. Milk? No, cheese. Yes, I remember. There we go. Just had to tempt fate. I don't know what I did. Listen, uh, it is what it is. We're just vibing. So, <laughs> I've been pretty great. How's everybody else been? <laughs> How's it going? Has anyone finished their dream snap yet? Or is anyone working on their dream snap currently? I almost want to make the royal tea, I think, for the beverage that we put on the table. It's in kind of a fancy teacup, but I don't think I mind that. Okay. Here we go. Memory be new. You finished yours? Nice! Dreamlight Valley is having a lot of issues associated with the most recent update. Yeah, like the crashing is so strange. But it's like sometimes my game will just crash on its own. And that is annoying, but I don't mind that as much because I can just pull it back up. It's just when the game crashes and it also affects OBS that I get really upset. Okay. That did go away, but that's fine. That's an easy fix. And then we need... What did I put here? I think I put one of the, like, fan plants. Yes. Finding this outfit challenge difficult. It's a bit of a tricky one. I feel like I'm always a little bit... How do I want to describe it? I'm not placing these here, but I'm just dropping these here because I can move them in furniture mode. I get excited by challenges that I feel like are unique or different because I would kind of rather have a challenge that's a little bit tricky but doesn't feel like it's just recycled. But then again, when they're a bit tricky, I'm looking at outfits just trying to figure out what to do and I don't know what to do. Just finished your dream snap. Amazing. Congratulations. You thought it was your laptop because you crashed yesterday out of nowhere. No, I have a pretty solid PC. Um, but yeah, it really hasn't liked... Dreamlight Valley very much recently. I think we'll do these. Maybe we'll just keep it to these three. And then I think over here, maybe I'll put a couple ingredients, maybe some spices, like they're getting ready to barbecue something. And then I just need some more flowers as well. And then, oh, I wish I could. Oh, wait, I can. It's just, it's squeezy, but in a pinch, I can run through there. I can also run through here and it's less squeezy. It would even be better if I removed those flowers, which I could, because they're not really serving much of a purpose. Oh, you know what I just remembered out of nowhere? Um, Paleo's getting an update on Monday, isn't it? Did I make that up? I totally forgot about that. I kind of want to play it. I think I saw a couple people are planning on starting new saves, which is wild to me. I don't know if I could do that, but I do still need to finish the wind temple. I haven't done that yet. Uh, I think I want this in a white basket. There we go. And yes, maybe some of the other plants. 
Cacti. Sure. She could put these a little closer to the house. Hi, Z. How are you? Also, Kitty, get yourself some food, ma'am. Get yourself some food. Maybe one of these? That works. And I want some kind of bright ones that are going to bring additional color to the area. Because the one thing about having the wooden path on top of this other path is that I feel everything kind of just ends up feeling a little bit flat. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's also not my favorite. Put this back here. Maybe this one. Over there. And then maybe we'll get one of the small ones. The I think they're orchids. Yes. The blue orchid in the orange pot. And that can just chill over there. How am I feeling about this week's theme? I feel like it was a fun thing for me to decorate. We ended up finishing the dream snap. This is actually a good opportunity for me to save. Um, and... I liked decorating with the... Wait, you can't even really see the snow in this. Hold up just a second. <laughs> I feel like somehow we just missed the snow. That's rude. I need to retake this now. Um, but the outfit I found kind of challenging. But it is fun. Fun and challenging. Okay, I'm mostly happy with that. Let me run to my house. Or fast travel to my house. We'll get some spices. And maybe some raw meats. What are the odds also? I had two snow clouds pretty much right around me and we caught no snow. I'll probably just do that after stream though. All right, up to the second floor where we have our Eternity Isle stuff. And we need some cinnamon, sure. Some paprika, absolutely. Some cumin. I'll probably grab some of all of this, to be honest. And we'll probably grab a couple of quite a few of these as well. Maybe we'll grab two of the chicken things. There we go. Thank you for lurking, Wolfie. I appreciate it. I've never tried octopus before. I'm just thinking that because I saw the octopus on the table. Okay, I'm not actually gliding all the way back there. This is far away. We'll just fast travel our way back to the lagoon. There we go. And I will go ahead and drop these things. Oh, actually, maybe we'll put some almonds too. Uh, split and drop, drop, drop. Ooh, maybe we'll put this prawn down as well. I don't know if I've ever called a shrimp a prawn before in my life. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. And we'll drop this. I mean, we'll drop this too. Why not? <laughs> Should put an armchair for Bruno. Oh, poor Bruno. Just checked your results and you got your first 4K on Dream Snaps. Congratulations. That's amazing. That's so awesome. 
might actually get rid of this flower or at least push it over here and maybe we'll put a, this loot thing and a couple guitars i don't know something about i feel like none of the madrigals specifically play music in the movie that i remember but something about like big families feels like getting together and playing music together so we'll probably do that uh tangled and there's one in coco as well i'll just put that there for now her dad plays the piano oh you're right i did briefly think about putting a piano like in the backyard area but i'm not gonna do that for now Okay, we'll throw the spices along the back. I mean, I guess almonds aren't spices, but I'll put those there as well. Well, I mean, I don't even guess. I know almonds aren't spices. Just just, <laughs> just go with me on this. And we'll put the agave back here as well. And then we'll pop the meat up front. Oh, I should grab a lobster. No, that's enough. That's enough. Mirabelle briefly played the accordion. I don't remember that either. That's cool. I love music and I think people who play music are so cool. <laughs> it's so impressive. I don't really play anything. I can a little bit play. I can play like a whisper of guitar, but I can never really catch on to it because I think partially my fingers are not made for guitar. It was so difficult to reach things. So then I switched to the ukulele and that's a little bit better. But I still don't play. I know some basics. I even want this here. There we go. Also, Disney movies are so musical, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's all like Disney. It's like big family vibes. It's also with how vibrant and colorful everything is. I think that reminds me of music in a lot of ways. So when I see all of this color and like the liveliness of her family, it makes me feel like they'd probably jam a little bit. Okay, and then this spot over here. I don't know if I can move this down a little bit more. Maybe I do. I want this to still be accessible to here, but I think I do want to bring some more trees. Are we surprised? No. It's just going to happen. Your star path is complete polar gaming. Amazing. Congratulations. You wish the barbecue worked as a cooking station. I also do. I'm sad that it doesn't. I feel like this should work. I feel like the campfire should work. Not the one that does work, but the other one that doesn't. I feel like that one also should. You feel like you learn a new thing about me every day. Really? <laughs> Interesting. I mean, that's good, I guess. Unless you're like, girl, just say less. I don't care. <laughs> These tables again, perhaps. I kind of want to use it, but it's not fitting the way that I want it to. Ooh, maybe... Uh, this is weird to have out here, isn't it? It is. I'm changing my mind. I don't want this. You met your husband because he played bass in one of your friend's bands. Oh, nice. 
love a good band. You love what I did with the path and the boards on top? Oh, thank you. I'm still a little bit like, I think I, I don't mind it as much in the mode when you're playing. I think it's fine. Just in furniture mode, top down, it makes everything just seem very like bland. But I think it looks a little bit better when you're running around. I kind of like it. Okay, I'm just going to pop this Moana table down anyway, and I'll move it or something. I think I just don't like that it doesn't evenly go between these, but to be fair, that's my fault for the way that I placed these more than the table's fault, I think. Although it could just be the table's fault because this is Dreamlight Valley and nothing lines up the way that it seems like it should. But I guess that is the most similar to what I want. Maybe the barrel table. I did think about that. I feel like it's just a little bit dark. And feels like a little bit heavy for this area. I know that doesn't really make sense, but. I might move these front like more towards my character and then back a little bit more. like that to give more space to get in here. I kind of would like it if they were closer to the waterfall, but it's okay. I feel like both of these people would still be able to look at the waterfall. And also just like this cliff. Good day. Are you Stitch? Where's Donald? Stitch wants to see his badness level. Ooh, my friend. Go catch him and then report back to me, please. A crate. Ooh, a crate might work too. Definitely options. You know what I would love to use here? But A, I think it's going to be too big. And B, I would not end up liking it because of the sand. I want to use... One of these. Oh, and the rocks. This one's smaller. Actually, hold up. Wait, no, but I'm not going to be able to run past here. And still the rocks. I don't love. And the bush. You know what? We're just going to create our own thing. We're going to make our own thing, and it's going to be good. Stitch in mischief mode. I feel like Stitch kind of gives the vibes of, like, he realizes that he can be a menace or he's kind of come to that realization at some point. And now he is on a mission to make sure that no one else is being a menace. I sort of want to have this area closed off on this side. And maybe I'll bring rocks through this way. No, I'm probably just going to leave this path open this way. I just have to make sure because this is going to be the tree that's impeding most upon this stuff. And I have to make sure it's not too in the way, but I think it's fine. And then from here, you'll be able to see like this, but I don't mind. Stitch is just misunderstood. I don't say menace in like... I mean, it's got a negative connotation. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. I describe one of my sisters as a menace all the time. <laughs> and I love her. She's one of my favorite people on the planet. There's just like a certain energy that like, if you're a menace, you have that energy. And it's like... Just kind of one of those things that is what it is. Nothing to be done about it. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just like the way that you are. <laughs> it's so relaxing to watch me decorate while knitting. Well, that's good. I'm glad. Oh, I haven't done knitting in so long. That would be kind of fun to get back into. I suppose we're moving out of the winter now. So, I mean, not that you 
only have to knit things that are winter appropriate, but I feel like with my limited knowledge of knitting and my limited ability with knitting, I do typically do like um wintry things. Can I get a regular crate? Ooh, or wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm so lost. I say as I scroll <laughs> so quickly, I'm unlost. What if we do that? And then I might be able to get a regular crate. It's just a lot of crates, but I feel like it might be fine. I feel like a little bit we need to trust the process. And then we put a giant plant on top of it. I think that's what we do. I also still feel like maybe barrels might be cute here. Where do I have another barrel? Gotta store a lot of things. Yeah, I guess. Or I mean, well, they kind of live deep in the jungle. So I feel like in the lore of Eternity Isle, they would probably have a lot of like bulk stuff delivered to them by probably me, if we're being honest, because no one around this valley does anything except for me. <laughs> so I would probably bring just crates of supplies to them and they probably just have the boxes left. Have any tips to get more items like furniture and clothes because you're bulldozing all your bimes but you don't have the things you want. Really it's just a matter of making sure you're checking Scrooges every day. Um, other than that... Oh and completing the star path all the way. The star path gives you a lot of items. Uh, oh also you could join communities where you can go to other people's Scrooge shop for multiplayer. That's a really good one now that you're able to buy things from other people's Scrooge shops. I have a community discord. It's not the most active in that respect, but there are also other people's discord servers that have rooms for people to say what they have in Scrooges that they're willing to let other people come and pick up. That's a good one. And then I think uh, make sure you've crafted everything that you can at the crafting table, because there are a lot of really great craftable items, actually. And just experimenting with those and with foliage. I think you can have a lot of really good designs, even if you don't have the specific furniture items that you wish you did. A lot of times when I'm decorating, I feel like I primarily use crafting items and foliage. Pop that there. Maybe that there. Maybe that there. Thank you for the zip reminder, Kitty. Love the stories behind my builds. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know it's like a fantasy game, essentially, but sometimes when I'm trying to build out an area, it helps me to think of like a reason why I'm doing whatever I'm doing. And sometimes it ends up giving us fun little little ideas to play with. Do I have... Actually, isn't there a crafted version of this plant here? I feel like there is. Maybe I don't have any of them, or maybe they're not sorted under foliage. Or maybe I just made it up. Oh my goodness, we have a raid! Welcome in to all of the wonderful people from the My Day Old Tea community. Kitty, my darling, would you mind grabbing a link and posting it in chat? I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Savannah, if you're over here, thank you so much for bringing your community over. I appreciate it. If 
any of you are new to the channel here, I'm Tink. I play a lot of Dreamlight Valley. That's what we're doing today. We were working on our dream snap, but we have since finished that. So now we're actually working on finishing up the Madrigal Manor as such and making the lagoon all decked out for them. So we're having a good time with that. Hello, hello, Jewel, something magical. Hello, hello, Minty, Ashy, Cynic. Hello, welcome in. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. How was stream with Savannah? What were you all up to? Oh, yes, this potted lily pad bush. I'm going to make, I think, five of these. I feel like I have to have some. Hello. I appreciate it so much. For now, we're still live. I don't really have a specific plan on when we're going to be wrapping up. I definitely want to finish this area that we're decorating. So it might be a little while yet. Stream was amazing. That's great. Um, and for all of my people here in this community, if you haven't checked out my day old tea yet, please do. Um, Savannah has a lovely community. She plays mostly Dreamlight Valley. Do you play any other games right now? I know you used to do like Animal Crossing and stuff. Um, but she does lovely builds, lovely, calming, chill streams that are a really fun thing to be a part of. So I definitely recommend popping over there. There we go. I like that. <laughs> oh no, our poor little snowy raccoon stuck back there. Hi, Oracle. How are you? Uh, you put Mini Casita in the same place. It looks so cute. I love this spot for Mini Casita. I can give a little tour of what we're working with, by the way. It's a bit of a mess, but that's the way I decorate anyway. So we're just rolling with it. Uh, we have Mini Casita down here. A nice segmented path leading up to it. Over on this side, we have a blanket seating area. Around the back of the house, we have a flower station where I imagine Isabella would be doing potting and growing flowers. We have a reading spot and another little cozy couch corner. We have our deck where all of the Madrigals could get together and eat a nice delicious meal. This is our little hammock lounge area by the waterfall that we're working on. And then we also have the well over here. And this is Antonio's domain. With a blanket fort, all the critter houses. The critter houses are so frustrating because all of the critters try to go behind them. So I don't actually have them stocked right now, but just imagine, just imagine we have a bunch of critters running around here and that's the vibe. So that's what we're working with. You started playing Animal Crossing and you've played Ooblets and some Stardew. Oh, have you played the Stardew update? Didn't that happen yesterday or the day before? I've never actually played Stardew before. I feel like I would love it, though, because I play other farming sims. So I'm sure I'll have to check it out at some point. But I did hear there was a pretty big update this week. You love this area? Thank you so much. How's my dream snap? You couldn't even figure this week's theme out. OK, so I have mixed feelings about my dream snap. This is what it looks like. I feel like the outfit was so difficult to come up with something. I'm uh, I feel OK about the outfit. The area that we set up, I think, was really cute. Unfortunately, I realized after the fact that we didn't really get any of the snowflakes from these snow flurry clouds in this image. So I'm going to be retaking it a little bit later. But this is this is the vibe. I just need to get a little bit of a better shot. But yeah, this theme, I think, is kind of fun and quirky and cute, but I think some of the fun, quirky, cute themes that we have don't work quite as well as they could because we don't have as many clothing items as we probably should have to fit those themes. I don't know if that makes sense. 
Levi, you also put mini, cas mini casita in the same area. Not as cutely decorated. I'm sure it looks lovely. This is also kind of our work in progress, but we worked a lot on this. This is pretty much all we did yesterday on stream. And I think we had a bit of a longer stream yesterday than usual. So we were working on this for like a good three and a half, four hours yesterday. And then today. So we're, you know, we're getting it done. Thank you, something magical. I appreciate it. The update came out yesterday for Stardew. You watched a stream, but it's not out yet for Xbox. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I do need to check out Stardew at some point. Because I feel like Stardew is like the farming sim. And since I play a fair amount of farming sims or like have played them, I feel like I'm doing myself a disservice by not checking it out. The aisle looks fantastic. Thank you. Um, I've been playing this game for a very long time. A lot of the items that I used in this area actually like these. I feel like the items that really stand out are quest items or star path items like these banners have kind of been the mvp of the aisle for me so far and these were from the first star path that we got this whole set i think was from mirabelle's quest line we got a couple premium shop items um a lot of crafted items we were just talking about the fact that i feel like if you're newer to the game or you don't really have a lot of items from scrooges yet do your quests, do the star path, and make sure you've crafted everything that you can because you can make really cute designs just using the free foliage items and the craftables. That's what I tend to lean on when I'm decorating. Also, stream is going well. Uh, this is this is the lagoon, actually. Uh, in my promenade, I have a camping area right now, which is pretty much peak me. It's so overflowing with trees and bushes that you can barely see anything. So we have another tree swing over here and we have this campsite with a couple of tents, campfire, Buzz's RV, picnic table another picnic area over here and then a more isolated campsite with just one tent this is my promenade yeah and those are the only two spots i've done so far in the wild tangle i set out some things here we're going to decorate this area eventually with the mushroom manor the fairy bloss home and fairy godmother but we haven't actually started working on it yet Anyone else still waiting for their dream snap rewards to process? Have you completely shut down your game and opened it again? Usually once I do that in the morning, the rewards will show up. Is it worth buying the DLC? You play Dreamlight Valley itself on Xbox Game Pass. And if you want to buy the DLC, you got to buy the base game with it. Oh, um, I definitely think you don't need the expansion to have a great time with Dreamlight Valley. But if you have the resources to get it, I do think you get a really good deal for your money. The expansion is like 30 US dollars and which is roughly the cost of the base game. You get an entirely new map that's about the same size as the main valley. You get a bunch of new story quests, three new characters. You get all this new foliage, new craftables, new recipes for meals, um, new resources, forageables, new critters. So you get a lot for the amount of money that you're paying. But if you can't swing for it, and that makes sense. But also, actually, I think it's on sale a lot of places right now. I don't know if the sale is still happening, but I know there was a sale. At least on one of the platforms. I can't remember where it was. 
But now that there's been at least one sale, that means that there are probably going to be more in the future. So if you want to wait and get it at a discount, I think that also makes a lot of sense. Uh, I kind of want to switch this blue hammock with this orange one. Just because the chests are or the crates are very orangey. And I think it would be nice to get this away from all of those crates. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit better. No worries, kitty. You get the Oasis and the Lagoon mixed up sometimes. We were just talking about that. I don't know the names of most of the areas in the Wild Tangle. I could probably list them all, but I couldn't point to them on the map. The Grove and the Grassland. Don't know which is which. I don't think I even know what the first area that you come into is. It's still pretty new, but I feel like as I decorate it more and more, I'll probably start to become more comfortable with what's what. I don't think I actually want this flower pot, but I do want a flower pot. Maybe this one. Can it fit back here? Maybe I'll do that. Welcome back, Samantha. Did I do my dream snap? I did. So I have my dream snap. And this is it. I'm probably going to retake it after stream just so I get more of the snowflakes in the picture. I wasn't sure if it was just the lighting, but I think for some reason we just managed to catch a moment when they weren't really falling from here. But this is it. Pretty happy with it for what it is. Because you have Game Pass, you think it's a little bit cheaper, but not much. You definitely are going to think about buying the DLC. Yeah, I really like the DLC. I am a fan of it. And I know we were all a little bit... Well, I think a lot of people were a little bit... Curious about how it was going to end up feeling value-wise when it was first introduced. Especially as it was introduced in the wake of them announcing that the game was no longer going to be free to play, which was initially the plan for it. But yeah, all things considered, I think it's a pretty good value for what you're paying. I'm very interested to see if we get another DLC at the end of this year. I kind of feel like we probably will. So I'm curious. Because the last update for this one is supposed to come in the summer, right? Which will probably be July, August-ish. So I could see us getting another DLC maybe around the same time, like December-ish. I'm looking for a palm tree, this one. And I think I want to put it... These in particular, I wish we could put on an angle. That would be so nice. Kind of everything, but these palm trees, really. Okay, that'll work. And maybe... Yeah, we'll try to grab one of these. You rebooted your game and it says you were rewarded, but your moonstone amount hasn't changed. Did you get the mail from your mailbox? If it says rewarded, I think it will say that as soon as it's delivered to you. So if you haven't checked your mailbox yet, I'd say do that. If you have checked your mailbox already and you didn't get it, I'd say probably reach out to Gameloft. I know it takes forever to hear back from them, but doesn't hurt to try. You're hoping for Hercules DLC or Winnie the Pooh DLC or Wonderland. Imagine if we got a DLC where we had three biomes and each of them were kind of inspired by that. Chef's kiss. I would love that. Like, I, I feel like I say this all the time. Hercules, I love. I love the movie. I love the characters. I love the aesthetics. Winnie the Pooh, I'm not as... How do I explain it? 
I don't have as much of a nostalgic connection to. I did watch it when I was a kid, but it was never really one of my favorite things. But the aesthetics of Winnie the Pooh, that like really childlike, just warm kind of feeling of the Hundred Acre Woods, I really love. And Alice in Wonderland, the, the aesthetics are just absolutely everything. So if we got all three of those IPs represented in biomes, I would have no more complaints ever about anything. I'd be so happy. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, I would be thriving. Let's see if I can grab some rocks. I don't even want them for a path. I just want them for some like texture. You really want to see an Olympus realm? Yes, an Olympus realm would be beautiful. Hmm, I think I need to be done soon. My item limit is skyrocketing, decorating these areas in the aisle. Let me put that there. And then I think I'm just going to try to bring some beach grass down here and then I need to stop. But you know what I also realized because I was talking about this yesterday, maybe I think a lot of it, a lot of it is that I tend to decorate things in a very cluttered manner with foliage. But also I did that entire market build and I used so many items for the market stalls that I think some of it also has to do with that. Thanks for stopping by, Levi. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. You only wish for them to add Atlantis because it's your all-time favorite movie from Disney. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my channel where I talk about Atlantis almost every single day because I think it's almost a perfect film. I love Atlantis with my whole heart. I was so surprised and also so pleased when it was referenced initially in Dreamlight Valley because Atlantis never gets any love from Disney whatsoever. It really doesn't. And it's so good. I think it was ahead of its time is what it is. And I think it wasn't really appreciated. So Disney sort of just decided that they weren't going to do anything with it ever. However, it's so good. It's so good. It's so brilliant. I love it. I hope we get Milo and Kita. Those are my two most desired characters in Dreamlight Valley. I think it's possible. I think it would probably be quite a way off into the future, but I do think it might happen. Can't wait. Justice for Atlantis. Exactly. Kitty, you know I love any opportunity to talk about Atlantis. I try not to bring it up on my own as much anymore because I think probably you all are tired of hearing me gush about it. <laughs> but if someone brings it up, I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to be happy. Okay, I think we're good. You know what I a little bit want to do, though? Probably surprising to nobody. I do think I want to put a book here. Hi, Perfect Angel. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. We're doing some decorating. Uh, we finished up our dream snap earlier today. So now we've moved on to wrapping up our build from yesterday in the lagoon. Just right there, perhaps. Maybe some candles here. And maybe I'll actually put some candles on the other table as well. I don't tend to use these very much. Maybe we'll do that there. Now that everything is finished, I need to think about lights. 
which are the thing that I never think about. How many lights do we want? What lights do we want? Where do we want them? Lighting is such a foreign concept to me. I don't know why. I just feel like I can never get them to look natural or like they actually belong. Last week, you almost cried when you heard Atlantis music at the docks on Eternity Isle. Oh, my goodness. Yes, they have to be bringing Atlantis to Dreamlight Valley in the future, if only because the statues in the background of the docks in Eternity Isle are the ones from the movie. There are so many direct references to Atlantis in Dreamlight Valley that I almost feel like I should make a spreadsheet with them. I do love a spreadsheet. And we're kind of getting to that point where I would be offended if we didn't get Atlantis characters because it's just been so heavily referenced. Not even in small, like, could sort of be a hint ways, but in very overt, very specific ways. Um, I'm thinking we could do these just... A classic go-to. We could do... I think I used these low-lying ones previously when I decorated around Mini Casita. I don't know if these are the absolute vibe. Or we do have the new lights, but I don't think I like these here. So if I had to choose, it's probably going to be between the regular degular wooden lampposts or the low beach torches in any given color. I don't know. I might use the beach torches. The only thing with that is that I think they have a two by two footprint, which is a little bit difficult. You can just imagine me clicking my heels together when it was brought up. Atlantis Codis. Yes. Clicking my little sparkly silver Wizard of Oz heels together. Casita really looks like it fits in in the jungle, especially since that's where it was located in Encanto. Exactly, yes. And part of me wanted to not have very many trees around because it's kind of in this big open area in the movie, but also... I feel kind of like, where's the fun in that? Maybe I'll use these over here by the dining, at least. I don't know. But then I always have to make space. I should probably start integrating lights in while I'm actually decorating until waiting until the very end, or like instead of waiting until the very end. Or alternative, we just don't use any. <laughs> we could just not. Let me get some maybe blue ones. Blue, red. That there. Maybe that there. Maybe I should move this closer. They're not going to be in line with each other, but they could potentially be if I move that back. Let me make it darker and we'll see how we feel about it. You wish we had strings of fairy lights? Yes, that's one of my biggest desires for actual furniture items. It's going to be pretty late. Okay, I think we're going to just be fairly sparing with the lights, partially because I never play at night, so it's really only, I don't know, because I feel like I need them. That'll work for here. Wait, is that right in the... No, no, no. That's actually fine. It's not really in the middle of the pathway. Um... Let me get rid of this. I 
And maybe we'll do a blue one over here. Like right about here. Actually, can we do it there? That might be kind of nice. The floating lanterns are enough here. We have these here, but I might... Will the lanterns go inside this beach grass? That's the question. They will. Okay. Don't mind if I do. I'll put that there and I'm going to move this. I'll put this there. Can I move you one more over? Yes. Okay. Over here we have the candles and... Quite frankly, I think I might just add one back here if I can fit it. If I can't, oh well. I kind of want it to be there. Can I go here? That's fine. And I do feel like I should have lights here. I imagine they would spend a lot of time out here in the evenings. So in that case, I'm going to move this plant and maybe pop it just here or something. And then I might just put a couple lights here. Probably a red one over here and a blue one over here. I could do taller ones, but I don't think I will. And then back here, what are we feeling? Would it be super heinous of me to actually use these back here instead of the other ones? Because I might do it. Looks amazing. The melted candles are one of your favorite items. I never use the melted candles. They are great items. I don't know why. I just don't really use them. I was watching a build the other day, though. Who was I watching? Oh, I wish I could remember. I don't even remember what area they were building and that's how bad it is. <laughs> uh... I don't remember, but they were using the melted candles pretty much everywhere. Oh, I it was somebody decorating a cottage town in the Forest of Valor over by Elsa's Cavern. And they had like the snuggly duckling there, pretty much like the classic cottage buildings, right? Uh, they had, I think, the blue cottage and maybe the starlight bundle house and they kind of threw the melted candles everywhere on the ground and it looked really pretty but i just never really go for that kind of vibe that might be nicer as a red light now that i think about it This biome actually looks really nice at night, and it's kind of just naturally bright, which I like. I don't like when the biomes look super dark. I mean, I'm sure nobody does. <laughs> that was a silly thing to say. I don't know that anybody really wants to be running around unable to see at night. Yeah, I kind of like having these different lampposts back here. Okay. I should put something over here. Maybe we'll do another one of those wooden lampposts. You only got the melted candles a few weeks ago and you've been playing since Christmas 2022. You use them constantly now. Oh my goodness. I do think they were glitched for a while, if I recall correctly. So they either weren't showing up in Scrooges or if they did, you couldn't actually buy them. And I can't remember which, but I do specifically remember them being broken. It might have been that they weren't showing up. 
this would make more sense to have by this area, but I think I'm going to leave it here. Yeah, I like it there. Um, time. You don't have the melted candles and you've been playing since October of 2022. Oh, my goodness. Samantha, if you hit me up on Discord, I can try to reach out next time I see them in the shop. I don't know if I've seen them super recently in my shop, so they might be coming back sometime soon. OK, let's do a once through. Just make sure we are liking everything. I don't know why I run around this way in particular. This is not how I imagine they would get to their area to eat. It's just I can't be bothered to run around the front of it again. I actually really like using these crates and barrels here between the trees to sort of barricade off this area. That's kind of nice. And then our critter haven that has no critters. Okay, I like it. I'm happy with this area. I'm glad the Madrigals have a place. Well, just Mirabelle right now, but eventually the Madrigals, hopefully, have a place to just... Oh, I wasn't running around with this. Missed opportunities. To be their best selves and get some space <laughs> away from their other family members because it's a big family thank you all so much for coming to stream i think we're gonna wrap up here i'm gonna see who else is playing we can spread the love that savannah shared by bringing her community over thank you again if you're still here for coming over and bringing your community i really appreciate it i am getting ready to go on my streaming weekend i will be doing a member stream on friday but other than that i'll be back on sunday oh let me put on some music so it's not just my voice as I'm trying to see if anyone's playing. Yes, let's see. Let's go see Simply Shay again. We were able to see Simply Shay yesterday. She's playing Dreamlight Valley and she's absolutely wonderful. Great energy. Please stop by and drop a like if you have the time. If not, no worries. I hope you all take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all really soon. Goodbye, everybody.